how we can start to use the Autodesk CFD to make a calculation for the wind. So from the AutoCAD file that I have my site plan or the location plan of the proposed project, I can in this case export and let's make a new file for the CFD. And in this case, I will export as a SAD file. In this case, I just need only my buildings. So I will close this layer and select this file. And I need to make sure that my node and unit is going to be correct. It's millimeters. So OK. And then I start to open my CFD. So once it's open, I will start new, I will browse my SAT file, put it with any name, let's say study, and to make sure that I have here model diagnostic, and start OK. As I can see now, he finished his diagnosing and then click yes transfer to the setups okay i have here my buildings and um, as you can see it's a little bit hard as i rotate and uh, cfd so i prefer always to use the cube for the rotating and this is i think the only issue in the cfd and then number one I have for my scenario, I have the material. I have now an assigned material for these buildings. So I can from here edit and I will assign this material, not float, it will be solid. And let's propose it will be also concrete. And then in my scenario, I will start to put my geometry tools geometry tools I need to check like uh, I don't have any unneeded edges any unneeded object all my files it's okay to start to put my extend volume that I will make my study on it so if I go back to the top for the study volume here the wind it will come from this side and out from that side but regarding to the rhino and our study we thought we uh, see the wind it came from this angle by 30 degrees so easily from here i can to make this angle 30 and also we can extend a little bit the study to be a little bit up the building and i think the space is also almost okay so i can Click create now. And then after creating my object, I need also to give material for this one. This is the CFD volume. In this case, it will be float, but not water, air, apply, and just make it as a transparent so the wind it came from this side by 30 degree and this is my proposed object study same what we used in rhino then after my scenario of the material i will start to make my boundary condition and my boundary condition it will be where is the place of the air gaming form in this case i will use here the air velocity it came from this side and make sure the arrow it came that side so it will be velocity meter per second and in our study in rhino the maximum it came uh, 14 so let's work in worst case 
14 meter per second. And from the other side, this is the total pressure. The air came from here and the pressure from this side. So all what I just used here, the pressure. And then after my boundary condition, I need to check my the mesh size to just can auto size the mesh for make the study. So in this case, it's very easy. I just take auto size from here, and he will auto select my mesh size. And after I finish, now I can start to solve my project. I can click from here or from this side. So. I click solve and then he can we can keep it now until he finalizes calculation and study and as you can see now he starts to make his iteration for his study And we can back after we finish this iteration. Uh, okay, we come back after this study. He finished now his the iteration and the study for this project. Now it's easy to start to show our air uh, velocity. So we can start with the uh, planner. And first, we can make this one as a shaded or outline, and then we can start to create a plan. And this plan can show me how it looks like my air velocity. It's easy to control it. Let's put a little bit down here. So let's go to the top. And here it's easy to check by color how much my air velocity by right click units meter per second. So as you can see now it's almost 14 and the green color the wind it came from this side same as equation what we add and how it's affect when it's go inside the building. For example if my study in this building I can see now there is not too much effect for the wind because of all the surround building came but for example if I back to this project of my study here I can see now regarding to this building the air velocity increase in this area in the worst case also I can uh, see in the vertical shape if I make my rotation And I can see now how the air velocity for these buildings until up it's go to increase in higher area. Also, if I need to uh, make more presented, I can use uh, also the trusses. And uh, if I make here like add trusses, and this is my grid and density. So maybe also we can reduce to get more density and if I click like that I can see now he can show me by lines how's the study of my wind it came from here until came to my building even it's easy to animate it and present it on the side for example if I click on this one and check how it looks even I can save the title of this animation 
but let's look again to try. Yeah, because it's a little bit speed for the framing, I can increase my second. And in this case, we can see the lines how it came in the slow way. We can even stop this and also from the studies, I think from the surface. In this case, I think I can see the color regarding to my calculations and the whole calculator. Yeah, from ISO volume, it's from here. I can add ISO volume and also I can add ISO surface. If I close this one, it can show me now the air velocity. And here, as a surface, I can see how my air velocity has come and strong for my building and the float how it's going so this is all as an initial calculation uh, to illustrate and it can be in the useful way for the initial study of any project and how can the wind affect some places for my project some places how I need to put rent pedestrian access in any case so uh, i think we finished now our initial study for this project i hope that you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe our page in youtube and follow us on instagram ar arena design and see you in the, another videos